The following broadcast is brought to you by Stimboost. Energize, revitalize, dominate. The flamethrower is here to dominate the front lines of the galactic war in the name of Super Earth, and this video is going to break down all the pros and cons for you in 4 minutes or less, which is just enough time to watch whilst you're burning up during re-entry in your hell pod. It is the quintessential bug burning barbecue support weapon and this stratagem should 100% be in consideration for your loadouts since it's massive damage boost. The flamethrower is unlocked at level 10 and is purchasable with 6000 requisition slips. It can be easily slotted into any of your stratagem slots as a support weapon for any mission. With its DPS value being recently increased by a whopping 50% per second, let's break down exactly what it's good for, when to let it cook, particularly leaning into its versatility against a vast array of enemies. On equipping the flamethrower there's a slight 1 second delay built in as standard to when it starts firing. You'll get 4 full tanks worth of fuel for the flamethrower and you'll burn through a full tank in a number of seconds. You can top up its fuel by collecting any ammo drops on the map or from supply drops. Although keeping your finger on the trigger is ideal for certain situations, especially when you are being hunted down by a swarm of enemies, you can also feather the trigger and use it to spray areas in front of you with bursts of flames instead of a continuous stream of fire. Using it like this will go somewhere to help him with its ammo economy, especially during combat heavy situations like clearing bug nests or automaton factories. You can use the flamethrower to scorch and set fire to the ground in front of you, adding an air of effect and damage over time effect to it. Although be mindful not to get too close to the flames or cover areas where your teammates are, being on fire at any time will eventually kill you unless you use a stim or dive to the ground and your teammates definitely won't thank you for torching them either. It deals excellent damage to trash mobs who will disintegrate in a matter of seconds, although be mindful of the ones that rush you quickly, as although they will burn out from the damage over time effect the flamethrower applies, getting too close to them will cause you to set on fire too. So where exactly does this weapon excel? Well it's a support weapon and these are generally designed at dealing with a specific threat. Fortunately the flamethrower excels at bypassing certain enemies armour and shields due to the massive area of effect and damage over time it can cause. For this reason it's one of my main go to's for the pesky charger and it's biggest behemoth brother. A full tank of fuel will generally take down a charger as long as you have kept constant enough damage to them. Ultimately it'll break their leg armour and you'll be able to crank up the heat to take them out as long as you don't get knocked into next week. As for the brood commanders and battle spewers, the same generally applies as the massive area of effect can just overwhelm them and it'll also take out anything nearby that spawned in. Bile titans are always a huge problem and although sustained fire with the flamethrower will take them down, their huge health pool will make this totally pointless as they stomp you into dust. Other high impact stratagems like the orbital laser or the 500kg bomb will always be favoured here. As for the automatons, this is where the brute force of the flamethrower starts to hit severe limitations. Again trash adds, it'll melt them and it's particularly great at taking out pilots from the scout striders mainly thanks to the intense heat applied to them. Berserkers are also easy fodder to take down due to their limited armour but the way they rush you doesn't make it ideal. The more heavily armoured devastators, hulks and tanks are not designed to be taken out by the flamethrower and generally will require more precise damage to weak points to defeat them. If you like this quick breakdown of the flamethrower then you'll absolutely love this video next.